welcome to my channel click and design let's get started so today's topic is fabrication in MEP when we do fabrication in MEP it just enhances the detailing of the objects you create in Revit okay so let's start with it let's see how you can do fabrication in Revit for that let's go to the system tab okay and here you can see fabrication part let's select it okay when you select fabrication part you have this MEP fabrication parts tab over here first of all you will see service and then group see for fabrication we need to load lot of services to load services in Revit in this MEP fabrication parts tab we'll go at the bottom in settings We'll click on the settings and then you can see fabrication settings so first of all we have to do fabrication settings to start with fabrication and now in fabrication settings you can see first of all I need to tell Revit which type of fabrication content I want in metric or in imperial units okay I will set it here then you have fabrication services and then you can see this button reload configuration so reload configuration it allows you to load different services okay so now we'll click reload configuration and now you can see the services which I have over here regarding duct work electrical piping work okay so if I want to use some of these services I need to select them and I need to load them in Revit okay so I already have this duct work 500 pascals let's choose some different service Let's take that one 2500 pascals and we'll add it to the list of services. Okay. And then we'll click OK. So our services have been loaded. As you can see here, that work 2500 pascals in the services we have already. So let's start with fabrication. Uh, first of all, I will load a family of mechanical equipment I have with me. So here you have this mechanical equipment over here. Okay, so let's start with the duct work. Let's first of all take this straight duct okay you can see it is very adaptive as this duct will reach this slot or you can see the connector it will automatically take its place and will make the connection okay once again if you want to continue the duct you can see you just need to give orientation and your duct will be connected if you want to change the length of the duct you have to just click over it and you can see here the length you can modify it let's say 500 I want so you can see the length of the duct can be modified easily for instance let us say if you want to change the dimensions of this particular duct in the end okay for that you will select this duct and we'll go to edit part over here in the modify tab in the edit part we have dimensions over here width depth and length so from here you can specify the dimensions let's say width I want to change to 500 depth let's say 200 and length I was making it 500 let's make it 1000 now okay then apply okay so you can see the change in the dimensions of the duct okay and this connector so now let's make some more connections let's create an elbow over here for that I will scroll down and I have this elbow reducing elbow we'll take it and we'll just apply now you can see it has oriented on the duct but if you want to change the orientation of the elbow for that you just press space bar from your keyboard and it will change the orientation and you just need to click it will take its place so we have placed the elbow 
is reducing elbow let's place one more duct so here i'm placing the duct okay now let's insert some more fittings in our system we'll scroll down here i have this transition let's select it and if, let's see if i want to insert this transition over here in the end just we'll place it and we'll click it to see all the fabrication fittings here are very adaptive in nature and they will just take the place if you want to change the dimension of this particular transition just click over it and you can see here edit part okay here you can see all the parameters are there and you can modify them accordingly let's do some changes we'll go to right view and let's change this offset width to the left and to the bottom okay and then make apply okay so you can see the changes what i've done so accordingly you can make more changes let's make one more duct i have placed this duct over here and there let's place this prop jig so now let's place some more fittings i will reduce this length of the duct and we'll scroll down we'll see more fittings let's see this drop cheek breaches i will take it and we'll just we'll place it on the duct end and we'll click it will take its place you can see over here and again you can join a duct through it okay so this is how you do fabrication this manual fabrication right now what we are doing and see we have lot of fittings already loaded here okay let's say place the shoe over this duct now you can see the shoe is taking place if you want to change the orientation just press space bar and you can press by the orientation and just click it will take its place okay let's make another duct over here and now let's see some more fittings we have end cap we'll select the end cap if you want to place end cap just take it to the position and click it will take its place you can see how easy it is to fabricate a duct work and so on we have different fittings let's say this square round take the square round we'll place it here so it looks very amazing the detail work in revit it is very fantastic and the objects look like real with a good detailing let's apply some hangers over here in the grooves we can see some hangers for the ducts you can choose the hanger what we want we can choose the hangers which we want let's take this strut over here and just will apply it these hangers they are taking their place itself okay and this uh, hanger it will be connected to the near structure okay automatically right now we don't have the structure so it is like this this is how we create fabrication so now let's see how to convert a basic generic model into a fabrication model for that i have created this duct system okay this hvac system here you can see and i have two types of ducts over here the supply and the return you can see this pink ducts over here they specify the return air type system and this blue ducts specify supplier system okay so i'll be going to convert all this system this generic system into fabrication for that i will select all this duct work we'll go to filter and we'll select only ducts okay and then i will go to design to fabricate we'll select the service so right now i have the service duct duct work 500 pascals okay and now all the duct work which was generic before 
will be get converted into fabrication. So here you can see our duct work has been converted into fabrication model. All the ducts are fabricated already. Okay, with accessories and fittings. You can see. But these ducts have lost their system types. As you can see over here, all the ducts are looking same without any system type. If you we'll select any duct, you will see they don't have system type now already so the question arises that how we will going to differentiate between these two systems which we had before the supplier and the retainer and now the solution to this problem is that we will differentiate between ducts with the help of filters so we'll be going to create some filters for that let's undo this so I have made it undo and now I am going to upload some services for that I'll go to systems we'll go to fabrication part over here and in the settings in the bottom you can see settings just click over there and need to reload configuration before I had only just ductwork 500 PA now let's add one more service add and then ok to create a filter I will use a trick very simple trick to create two different systems and two different filters ok let's close this application and let's select this duct over here this duct work this blue with tab key you can select all the line and then we'll go to design to fabrication let me assign ductwork 500 pascals to the supply air ducts okay so we'll select ductwork 500 pa to the blue ducts okay i've assigned to one of them okay and to pink ducts which are for return i will select them with the help of tab key again go to design fabrication i will assign ductwork 1000 pa to this system which was for return here okay so like this i am going to select all the ducts and will change the service So I have changed all the systems supply air to 500 PA service and return air to 1000 PA service. So now our system looks like this. Now we need to create some filters. For that I will go to view tab, we will go to filters. Okay and now I need to create some filters. Let's create some filter one. Let's say fabrication supply okay and duct work then click ok then from the categories you have to select MEP fabrication duct work okay and in the rules you have to select fabrication service name equals to for the supply we had 500 PA okay then apply okay so we have created one filter now let's create one more filter we'll go to filters again and we'll create one more filter now fabrication return Duct work okay and then click OK. Again in mechanical we'll select MEP fabrication duct work. Again in place of none we'll select fabrication service name equals to 1000 PA. Okay, 
1000 PA service or return then click apply okay so right now we have created two filters and now we'll go to visibility graphics okay in visibility graphics you can go to filters here and add the filters so our filters are here we'll select both of them click ok so we have both the filters over here let's change the patterns for the supply I will change the pattern let it be cyan blue and pattern to be solid again the background I want it to be solid again and the color to be cyan okay and for the return let's select little reddish pattern to be solid again pattern to be solid and color to be red again okay okay so we have made the filters we had applied the patterns to the filters and colored pattern to the filters then we'll apply and so now you can see I have easily applied filters to the ductwork in fabrication mode so in the same manner you can also use this trick to apply filters and to differentiate between the services types thanks for watching this video please share and subscribe